Today we are going to unmold or demold our first Aircrete Vegan Bee Bunker Beehive and I bet it turned out great. Well it's been a few days since I left you. I guess it's been a week. Um, so I let them set up just a little bit. Then I stacked them, covered them in plastic. That was five days ago. So let's remove the plastic. Here's the lid, obviously much lighter. see here, here is one of the brood chambers and it was, it was just a disaster. Hopefully I can get that out of there without having to chip it away for a long time. Let's go ahead and flip this lid. Obviously a lot lighter. Just try to come loose. There we go. Okay. casting side. Hollow sounding. It, uh, it is pretty firm though and it is super smooth. Very smooth. If I could get the whole thing to come out with this smoothness and this kind of compression ability that would be great, but look at this. I mean, this stuff just, just falling apart. This is the inside, though. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it is very smooth. This would be the top, which was ugly because I couldn't get it flat. So all in all, not good, but for what I was dealing with, you know, you saw I was having a hell of a time. Okay, so not the worst results possible, but Okay, I got the hardware taken out of the base mold just to save some time. Hideous. Just awful. Let me bring you in closer and show you something. The parts that are smooth are like glass. They're like polished marble or granite. 
I mean, you can see it's reflective. That's how smooth it is. And it is extremely dense. Like, I can't even put a dent in that. So if that is the potential, which I guess it is because I got that that good. If the whole thing could look like this and weigh this much and have an insulative value comparable to foam, this will be an absolute game changer. So I'm going to bust the rest of these out and we'll see how bad the rest are. Well, we got a long way to go. I mean a real long way. But this is the motivation. And that could be so cool. Well, despite all the problems, there were some positive findings from the first experiment with Air Crete. The section without reinforcement uh, completely crumbled and failed. So it was a weaker mix, no reinforcement. As such, we are left with one section less than we should have. It kind of looks like before and after the snap filter, if you know what I mean. A little rough. That one over there just looks amazing in comparison to this. Some close-ups. Like the pyramids at Giza now, first one they were new. <laughs> so it uh, needs some work. So the Air Creek test was literally, figuratively, metaphorically, mentally a mess. Uh, but we can find out how to replicate this. Every one of these four castings had a section of what I would consider acceptable uh, material. Not just acceptable, if we could make the whole thing like this, I think it would be the most superior material you could use. So we are definitely gonna try again. You know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So, I think this is enough evidence to keep trying. I know a lot of the ways we can improve it now, and we will go for a second run. But, for now, that is all. Let me know if you think there's something we could do better. Maybe something we obviously did wrong. And uh, we'll come back to the update whenever we have it. Thanks for watching.